On Wednesday, a team of researchers announced that they got extremely lucky. The team is building a detector on the floor of the Mediterranean Sea to identify the rare instances when a neutrino interacts with the surrounding seawater. Although the detector was only 10% complete, it managed to capture the most energetic neutrino ever detected. For context, the most powerful particle accelerator on Earth, the Large Hadron Collider, accelerates protons to an energy of 7 tera electron volts, TeV. The detected neutrino had an energy of at least 60 peta electron volts, PeV, potentially reaching up to 230 PV. This shattered previous records, which were around 10 PV attempts to trace the neutrino's origin, indicate that it came from outside our galaxy, although there are several candidate sources in the distant universe. Searching for neutrinos, if neutrinos, are known for anything, it's for their unwillingness to interact with matter. They interact with regular matter so rarely that it's estimated you would need about a light year's worth of lead to completely block a bright source of them. Every second, tens of trillions of neutrinos pass through each of us, but fewer than five of them will interact with the matter in our bodies over a lifetime. The only reason we can detect them is that they are produced in massive quantities by nuclear reactions, such as those occurring in the sun or nuclear power plants. Additionally, researchers increase the odds by ensuring their detectors contain a large amount of matter for neutrinos to interact with. One of the most successful implementations of this lots of matter strategy is the ice cube detector in Antarctica. It relies on neutrinos arriving from space, which produce light and other particles when they collide with Antarctic ice. The beat. Ice Cube team drilled into the ice and placed strings of detectors to capture the emitted light, allowing scientists to reconstruct the arrival of neutrinos. The KM3Net project takes a different approach, based on the idea that Antarctica is extremely inconvenient. Instead, it is building two detectors on the Mediterranean seafloor, ARCA, about 3.5 kilometers deep near Sicily, and ORCA, 2.5 kilometers deep off the coast of France. These sites are easier to construct and integrate with research infrastructure, but they sacrifice some precision in tracking neutrinos because ocean currents cause the detector cables to drift. By early 2023, only about 10% of the cables planned for the seabed were in place. But even at this early stage, they captured an extraordinary event energy to spare. The event began outside the detector, where an incoming neutrino interacted with seawater and produced a muon, a heavier cousin of the electron. The muon entered the detector area and collided with other particles, generating photons and particle showers, which in turn produced even more light. The energy was so intense that it saturated the detectors closest to the muon's entry point. In total, over a third of the array's detectors registered signs of the muon's passage. By analyzing the timing of the signals and the energy released, researchers estimated that the muon traveled approximately parallel to Earth's surface. Using models of the signals, they concluded that the muon carried between 60 and 230 PV of energy. This implies that the muon must have resulted from a neutrino interaction near the detector. No known process on Earth can generate a muon with such enormous energy. High-energy cosmic rays can produce muons when they strike the atmosphere, but muons don't survive long enough to reach the ocean floor on a flat trajectory. The only particle capable of surviving that journey is a neutrino, since the muon resulted. From a neutrino interaction, its energy must have been inherited from the neutrino itself. This means the original neutrino likely had even more energy, making it the most energetic particle of its kind ever detected. How did it get here? What remains a mystery is how the neutrino gained so much energy. One theory suggests that high-energy gamma rays interacting with the cosmic background radiation can convert energy into matter, creating particles with extraordinary energy. However, a search in the direction of the neutrino's origin found no gamma ray sources. Beyond our galaxy, several blazars, quasars with jets of particles and radiation pointing directly at Earth could be potential sources. The research team identified about a dozen high-energy astronomical objects in the approximate direction of the neutrino's origin, with two within a 1% margin of error along the predicted path. While the event provides intriguing clues about the cosmos, its precise explanation remains unclear. Meanwhile, construction of the two detectors continues. 
Once fully operational, they will join Ice Cube in monitoring neutrinos from beyond our galaxy. With three detectors working together, scientists will have a better chance of identifying the sources of high-energy neutrinos. This could enable simultaneous observation of distant astronomical objects using both light and particles, offering new insights into the universe's most mysterious processes.